Is this your main office? Where you're located? Yes. There are different companies in this office besides me. Is that you? It looks like it. This is the man you just saw. Alex Gulans is the man I started working on the motorcycle with. And he's the reason I stayed here. How many companies are there? About 15 companies. So there are 15 companies that are developing energy efficient technologies. I would say they're working in different areas. Wastewater treatment plants, water facilities, agriculture, ecological toilets, heating systems, etc. So when you came to China, the government, in support of you, gave you the patronage to come here. At the beginning, we started working in a factory where we assembled motorcycles. After receiving a government award, I was transferred here. Do you rent the premises here, or were they given to you for nothing? They were given to me for free. Do they set any goals or objectives for you here? What is the policy on setting goals and objectives for the staff here? After receiving the award, I received a contract for four years. The award is given for four years. You have to do something. And the goals were to introduce technologies in motorcycles and electric cars. And that started to develop smoothly. How many people are in your team now, Victor? I have two students and two managers, engineers, working for me now, whom you could see yesterday. They've gone to the factory now. OEM production is not what is being done now in Technopolis Moscow. That's where the development center and partial production is done. OEM is quite different. We have some technologies, but we do not produce them ourselves. That is, we make a prototype, test it, and then give it to the factory. Here, what you see in the workshops is practically only prototyping. Some modifications, small tests, and all the work takes place when we hand over the finished machine. You start producing this machine without technology for us, so to speak. And they produce only for us. That's exactly the plant we were at yesterday. Three passenger cars and one very famous car that is sold in the world. That is, here you developed, finalized it and came to him with it. Do I understand you correctly? Yes, we did some refinements, because all the cars have onboard chargers that allow us to install additional batteries and recharge while driving. This is purely our refinement. Speaking about your partner, did he find you or did you find him? We found each other at the same time, because he was already working with Alex Gulans when I started working with Alex. When I started working with Alex on the installation of the motor wheels and demonstrations in Monaco, I found him on the internet. And when I contacted him, I traveled over here, bought the bike, installed the motor wheel and put it on display in Monaco. That car, that is the first one certified, was produced by the factory here in Weihai. The factory went bankrupt, there is a lot of competition, so many factories stop. It turns out that the cars did not make it to Europe. We sent two cars there. There is no needed quantity. The plant stops. They cannot deliver. They do not have time to change the design, because modes are expensive. All the tooling is expensive. If they can't find a market, the plant just stops. And this plant can be given to more interested people. The government gives it for free for 10 years. 
what you're looking at are four cities. In Europe, they go for two cities for commercial purposes. For example, pizza delivery, mail delivery. Two people in the front, and there's room in the back. Usually the trucks are of low quality, and this car for passengers is more comfortable. Is that right? A little truck with good, comfortable passenger qualities. So 13 kilowatt power, and the maximum is about 30 kilowatt. And how far can it drive? It will go 120 kilometers with the smallest battery and 250 kilometers with the biggest battery. left here. Left here too. In terms of handling, it should be like a mini truck. This is an M1 truck. That's the biggest category for Europe. We can deliver them to Russia, only with the engine that is here. But in the future, there is a possibility that our engines will be installed here. In other words, the company we visited yesterday has already agreed and signed a letter of intent, where our engines will be installed if they are interested. And we will gradually move to supplying vehicles to our partners in different countries with our engines. As for the quality of the car, I will say that it is European quality. The M1 category satisfies Europeans and the Chinese, and Russians will also be satisfied. <laughs> 